YouTube has a new king of sponsorships. This green powder has been appearing all over health, fitness, and nutrition podcasts. Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens AG1. AG1, uh, that's what it's called, Athletic Greens. Athletic Greens 1, also known as AG1. 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 <laughs> but it has a rather controversial history. It's called Athletic Greens, or AG1, a daily supplement with all kinds of benefits. But there are also all kinds of red flags. The product might actually be harmful, they have strange gaps in their research, and the founder has a dark history. So here's the truth about Athletic Greens. First of all, what is this magic green powder and who's making it? Well, it all starts with one man, Chris Ashenden. In 2008, Ashenden was facing consistent health issues. Illnesses were frequent and severe, yet he was fit and living a healthy lifestyle. After many expensive medical tests, he found the problem. His body wasn't absorbing the nutrients it needed. As a result, his immune system didn't have the strength to fight off illnesses. His specialists and doctors advised him to take 50 supplement pills a day. For obvious reasons, this was quite difficult. But he couldn't compromise his health. So he found a new solution. In 2010, he created Athletic Greens, an all-in-one everyday supplement. The goal was simple, to simplify nutrition, to give customers a bit of everything just in case. Ashenden slowly grew the company, gradually perfecting his product, which evolved into AG1. And soon, revenue began pouring in. In 2022, Athletic Greens raised $115 million. Some of their investors include Hugh Jackman and Cindy Crawford. This pushed their valuation to over $1 billion, and now they're one of the biggest supplement companies on the planet. That's a great story. But is AG1 actually effective? Well, on their landing page, Athletic Greens claims AG1 is a more-in-one solution. They compare it to multivitamins, probiotics, and greens, claiming it contains the benefits of all three and much more. A way to simplify nutrition. Goodbye bloat, hello energy, they say. It's supposed to improve gut health with prebiotics and probiotics, improve your focus and energy, boost your immunity, and even help your aging. But they don't want you to take their word for it. That's why they've poured millions into sponsorships, big ones. You might have seen this green powder on popular podcasts, one of the biggest being Joe Rogan. All the above. Supplements, definitely, that's a big factor. I take a lot of vitamins. I take, uh, I take um, athletic greens, that's one thing I take, but I take a whole suite of different vitamins. He even has a testimony on their website detailing how he has been starting his mornings with AG1 for years. And Joe is likely not even the most important sponsor. That honor goes to Andrew Huberman. Andrew wants one of the biggest health podcasts on the internet, with 6 million subscribers on YouTube. But he's not just a podcast host. Huberman is a neuroscientist and professor at Stanford University with a long list of awards and honors. And of course, he is consistently sponsored by AG1. There's plenty more notable sponsorships, including world-famous rock climber Alex Honnold and actor Gwyneth Paltrow. All of this makes for some pretty impressive endorsements. But more than anything, AG1 is popular because of its simplicity. It's convenient, easy to use and understand. It's the perfect solution for busy, health-conscious people. Say goodbye to your multivitamin and take the doubt out of your daily nutrition routine with AG1. Take the doubt out of your nutrition. It has everything you need, just in case. Except, there's something else going on here. AG1 might not be the miracle product it appears to be. Let's unpack what's actually going on here, starting with the past of Chris Ashenden himself. Ashenden's business is primarily in the US, but he's from New Zealand where he has a bad reputation, to put it lightly. Some stories about Athletic Greens touch on his past, using noticeably sympathetic and vague language. He leaves the police force and becomes a real estate investor. He borrows money from friends and family and ends up losing it all, including his parents' life savings and is forced to file bankruptcy. During this time, his health deteriorated. He was stressed, depressed, and drinking heavily. 
What they failed to mention, however, is that Ashenden is a convicted criminal, and his real estate business was hit with 43 criminal breaches of the Fair Trading Act. Over 10 years ago, he ran a property business called Home Finance Company with the slogan, why rent when you could buy? The idea was to trick renters into joining his scheme with the hope that their rent would gain them equity and eventually home ownership. It was the alternative to mortgages in New Zealand, which had battled a housing crisis for many years. House prices were outpacing the incomes of many buyers, so this felt like the perfect solution. But in reality, it wasn't as peachy as it seemed. It was promoted as a pathway to home ownership, but in the fine print, it said something different. Ashenden's company actually owned the property until a 30-year plan was complete, but occupants still had to cover principal, interest, taxes, insurance, and maintenance the entire time without building any equity. Ashenden didn't solve mortgages. Somehow, he created a worse mortgage, all of the responsibility, but none of the benefits. Eventually though, people caught on to these red flags. The New Zealand Commerce Commission charged his company with breaching the Fair Trading Act. The judge said that his business contained strong elements of cynicism and the calculated exploitation of vulnerable people. Ashenden and his companies were fined $237,000 and ordered to pay $42,000 in reparations. Ashenden had recently declared bankruptcy, but the judge saw through it, and his description of Ashenden is hilarious. The court has no hesitation in concluding that Mr. Ashenden is one of those people whose affairs are deliberately kept complicated to the point where it is exceedingly time-consuming and expensive to unravel them. He founded Athletic Greens shortly after this company collapsed, and unfortunately, there isn't a happy ending. It appears that he dodged the fines thanks to his companies being bankrupt. Victims were left with nothing and Ashenden got away. No wonder he left New Zealand. But this history has caught up with him, so much so that the controversy has caused Ashenden to resign as the CEO of Athletic Greens. With all of this context, it's easier to see what Athletic Greens actually is. There's a lot more at play than just nutrients, health benefits, and extensive academic studies. Athletic Greens makes a lot of claims, but they also do have plenty of studies to back them up. And on the surface, the research actually looks great. Their main study is double-blind, randomized, two-arm, and placebo-controlled. A lot of important practices in academic research to ensure results are accurate. It's also peer-reviewed, which is a great sign. It really looks like they did their homework, but Something's off. The focus of their main study was to examine the effect of a commercially available multi-ingredient powder, AG1, on the gut microbiome, among some other details. It found that the supplementation of AG1 in healthy adults enriched certain beneficial gut bacteria and improved digestive quality without causing adverse effects. Looking deeper, however, shows a few issues. Firstly, it says all participants indicated their willingness to comply with all aspects of the experimental and supplement protocol, meaning the study was likely self-selected, which is known for creating bias. The sample is made up of those with a personal interest in the subject and often strong opinions. Also, only 30 participants were involved, 15 men and 15 women, a very low number. But more importantly, only healthy individuals were approved to participate. This seems to be a theme across their other studies as well. Small sizes like these aren't a red flag on their own, but they're not good for comprehensive research. They're commonly seen in initial studies before more in-depth research is conducted. The study also only took place over 4 weeks, but AG1 is pushed as a daily long-term supplement, which doesn't line up. All of this is already a bit questionable, but there's more. Research studies like these always use a placebo, a treatment with no active effect to measure if the actual treatment has a tangible impact. Their listed placebo is maltodextrin, which is a common placebo to use in research studies. Except, there is a problem. Maltodextrin is known to cause intestinal inflammation. In most research studies, this wouldn't matter. But this is exactly the focus of AG1 study. 
All of the participants who take the placebo are naturally going to respond that their gut feels worse than those in the treatment group, aka those taking AG1. This will obviously skew the results in favor of AG1, which means that this isn't a good placebo or a good study. Combine this with the four week testing period and the small sample size of 30 people, and it's hard to take what they say seriously. For all the bold claims they share on their website, the research isn't all that strong. But AG1 is still full of healthy ingredients, so it's still good for you, right? Well, let's unpack that. AG1 has a lot of stuff in it. Vitamins, probiotics, superfoods, and much, much more. It's also NSF certified, so it does include what it says it does. And there's a lot crammed into this packet. AG1 certainly does have a lot of important vitamins and nutrients. And the reason for that is the idea that most adults don't get enough vitamins and nutrients. But even this isn't exactly true. Studies have shown that most adults get most of what they need and that multivitamins are not associated with a lower risk of death for healthy adults. Some people do absolutely have deficiencies, but ironically, these aren't the target audience of these products. But let's take a closer look at these ingredients. A scoop contains 467% of your recommended daily vitamin C, 100% of vitamin B7s, and 917% of vitamin B12. That's a lot but more is better for vitamins, right? Well, not exactly. These vitamins are water soluble. If the body has an excess, they get flushed out. That's a lot of vitamins you're paying for that go to the toilet. It also contains vitamin E, which is important to have, but it's fat soluble, meaning the body stores any excess. But wait a minute, isn't that a good thing? While in appropriate amounts, yes, but AG1 has 553% of the required daily intake. Too much vitamin E in your system can be dangerous. Too much vitamin E can even increase the risk of heart failure. Their website also lists a collection of superfoods, which they mention a lot in their marketing. Factors like climate, soil quality, and when plants are harvested can all impact nutrient density, which is the amount of beneficial nutrients in food. That's why we intentionally source our superfoods and functional mushrooms at the right time in their life cycle. But the idea of superfoods is largely a myth. It's not a scientific term, just something that's used for foods dense with the nutrients. They're good, but too much of a focus on them might be counterintuitive. The Baylor College of Medicine elaborated that supplements might provide additional benefits, but they are not a replacement for superfoods or other nutritious foods. A balanced diet is extremely important, but consuming superfoods alone will not mitigate disease. Though, if you did just eat those foods instead, it would be much better. Since AG1 has as little as 2 grams of dietary fiber per serving and only 2 grams of protein. Many of their other ingredients also have questionable science behind them. And if you want to fact check anything presented in this video, as you should, please check out the resources link in the description below. There are a lot of smaller red flags that aren't even covered in this video. But with all those red flags, let's look at the price. How much does this magic powder even cost? Take a look at this packet of AG1. About 30 scoops. What do you think the price is? $20? $30? Maybe $50? No, it's about $90. $79 for the packet of AG1 and another $9 for postage. $90 for a supplement, or less than $3 a day as they like to say. Also, AG1 isn't really a product, it's more of a supplement subscription. That price is only if you subscribe to monthly payments. If you want to just buy a single packet of AG1, it costs $99 plus shipping. Naturally, this makes consumers want to use the subscription. $99 for a 30-day supplement with shaky research and unbeneficially high vitamins and nutrients. More than anything we've covered, the biggest problem is that Athletic Greens is promoting its product as a necessity using fearful marketing. Take it just in case to cover all your bases. Customers are paying for such a huge excess of vitamins they can never absorb, just to be sure. Say goodbye to your multivitamin and take the doubt out of your daily nutrition routine with AG1. The target market is not people who could actually use the additional vitamins. It's actually the worried well. Healthy people who want the peace of mind that all their nutrients and vitamins are covered. 
most of the people who use AG1 actually need it the least. They already live healthy, active lifestyles and already eat balanced, nutritionally rich diets. But this isn't anything new. As long as multivitamins have been around, this just-in-case marketing has been a thing. It's an industry worth over $177 billion. So these companies want you to believe you need them. Best nutritional support, a more advanced multivitamin, Centrum, always more complete than any leading brand. The Centrum people thought of everything. Like they say, A to zinc. Centrum makes a science of being more complete. Take it just to be safe. You want to make sure you're healthy, right? It can't hurt. In reality, it actually can. Medical professionals and dietitians will actually discourage you from taking too many supplements or certain vitamins, as they can cause all kinds of issues. It's why some of these experts are highly critical of AG1. But Athletic Greens and many supplements will almost always encourage you to take them. They even have a quiz to see if AG1 is right for you. Yet, no matter what you answer, even if you say you're extremely healthy, fit, with a good diet, they seem to always suggest you take their product. The real reason AG1 is so popular is thanks to their brilliant marketing strategy. Instead of competing with other supplements head on, they use health celebrities and experts to create a market of one. With strong branding, they create the vision that it's the best product and all you need. That way, they can charge what they want. But when you strip back the marketing, it's really not all that special. Also, let me be clear that I'm not saying that AG1 can't or doesn't help anyone. In fact, it may have even helped Krish Ashenden himself. If his body struggled to absorb nutrients, maybe this excess is exactly what he needed. But more than that, I believe he saw an opportunity to turn AG1 into an all-in-one solution and the only supplement you'd need. But AG1 is just another magic bullet, a miracle product that promises to solve a complicated issue like nutrition. It lures in those who are concerned about their health, who ironically don't need it, but are willing to pay its overpriced cost. Don't pay $90 every month for green powder, eat a balanced diet and take a multivitamin in areas you need it, and if you're still worried, talk to your doctor. Don't buy into magic bullet marketing. If you're interested in deeper dives, interviews with insiders, and exclusive tech analysis, you can sign up to our free weekly newsletter. Link is below. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.